All right, Scorpio, this person clearly knows that you're not focused on them. Okay, you're very focused on your own self. You're being selfish, really, not in a bad way, but in a way where you're not investing into this connection or you've just stopped investing into this connection. You're focused on yourself, putting all the attention towards yourself. Okay. This person, I feel this person was always daydreaming. Okay. They were always daydreaming. They always uh, daydreamed a lot about you. They thought a lot about you. They wanted a lot about a lot with you, right? But they weren't taking any action. I feel now they're having a more realistic approach to the situation rather than just you know being in their head. They want to take action towards you. No longer procrastinating. I think they see you as someone they had a happily ever after with, but right now there's a lack of emotional fulfillment in their life. <laughs> They do see that there was a breakup and separation between you guys, okay? But something's just not making them happy. There's an emotionally draining situation in their life. Now, either they're already in another commitment, which they're not happy in, or this person sees you and them as one, but they see you as there's a lack of that emotional fulfillment. There's a lack of that happily ever after, okay? Which you either guys had and it didn't work out because you guys went your own ways or it wasn't reaching that point, Okay. I feel you had it and then you guys broke up. Because on their mind, they are reminiscing, okay, this person misses you. They miss you like crazy. They see you as their soulmate, that strong soul type connection. The problem here is they don't want to end this cycle out here, which is why they keep repeating the same negative patterns over and over again. Maybe this person wants to keep coming back to you or they just don't want to do what they need to do to be assertive and decisive and to take that action and get out of their comfort zone and give you what you want or do what's good for this relationship to take it to the next level. See, that's why they keep going around in circles. They don't reach that completion so that you guys can go ahead to the next phase. And the next phase, I feel they know is commitment. The next phase is marriage. The next phase is something that is just, you know, too difficult for them to think or something that's just going to push them out of their comfort zone. They don't want to go to the next phase. They want to, you know, they want to just keep playing around within the same circle, okay, the same chapter. And I think you've already left the chapter. Now you've already left the building, but they're still waiting there for you. You come back and then they can do the, do the same shit with you again. What you don't see coming is this person's feeling very isolated, okay? There are chances they want to come back towards you. They're feeling lonely. They're feeling very isolated. They feel left out. They, they, they have that lack mindset, you know, where they feel like a victim, okay? And this person will, all, not always, but at least for this time, this person will need you to get them out of the pit, okay? So this person lacks the confidence. They feel, you know, that's that, that's that something is missing, okay? And instead of looking within themselves and getting their shit together, picking up the pieces and moving into the next phase, which is like more, you know, giving more peace and harmony, equal give and take, they don't want to do that. They want you to come back towards them again or they want to come back towards you being in that same, you know, making that puppy face. It's like, no, you know, like, how can you do that to me? you got to come back. we got to make this work out. But they don't want to make things work out in the way where you want to. You want to make things work out in the way where you want to take it to the next level. To the next level. They want to make things work out as in let's just continue the same cycle. Okay, let's just try it again and again and again. Okay. So they want to do the same thing and expect a different outcome. That's not going to happen. Your advice is to stay solid. Okay, don't invest into this connection right now because this is not a balanced connection right now. And if you continue giving to this connection, there are chances you are going to land up in resentment the way you did all this work. Okay. Let's see, star and reverse. Yeah, see, you lost a lot of hope and faith in the past, okay, about whether this thing's ever going to get committed or not, okay. I feel that this is a very spiritual divine connection. You felt like a strong pull towards this person, but slowly, and I mean, you know, slowly but surely, I think what happened is that it is draining you out because you, you felt a very divine connection with them, okay, like a strong attachment, not in a bad way, in a good way, but you felt that this is the one you were meant to be with. But there was that hope and faith, okay, you were wishing, praying, hoping once upon a time, but now I think the universe is testing you how badly you want it. But in the past, I think you kind of sort of just was like, you were like more negative mindset, okay, because I think this person makes you wait, they make you wait a lot. Patience is the key here. Okay. What's the world in reverse? What's the world in reverse? Yeah. See, they want to do the same shit. That's what I just said, right? They want to come back again. They want to come back again. They don't want to uh, commit to you, but they don't want to let the cycle end. Okay. You have the seven of swords here. This is someone who's going to keep coming back to you guys. They'll keep coming back to you. So don't be surprised. Don't be like, oh my God, this person's moved on. For some of you, maybe, but for most of you, the people I'm reading with, this person is never going to give you a closure. Okay, but the, either the closure will be something where you will realize, all right, you know what, this person's done with me for good, 
they are done with you for good. Okay, I'm not saying you are done. You probably are done with them, but they, you will definitely know if they're done with you, you know. But otherwise, this person is never going to be done with you. They're never going away. They keep doing the same thing over and over and over again. They're just going to try different strategies every time because this person relies more on their logic. They, they run away from their emotions. Okay, so they don't think emotionally. Only if they thought emotionally, which they which they did once upon a time, but they realize that once they reach the ten of cups, the next thing is you know emotional fulfillment is there. Then you want that stability. You know you want something more, and that's something that they don't want to give. But yes, with the ten of cups, the love was there, and it was a lot. It still is, which is why they want to keep coming back. But it's like you know what? Hey, I don't want to commit to you, but I still love you. Can we please make it happen? And you're like, no. We've made it happen a several diff- a several times. I want what I want. I want to take things to the next level, or you know, you just don't see the point in moving on with this. Okay, you just don't see the point of just go, you know, doing the same thing. You want something more, and they can't give that, or they don't want to, or they're not ready. Six of cups. Six of cups. Wow, this person has a huge wake up call. Huge. They realize you are the one for them. Seriously, four of wands. Oh baby, four of wands. See, they want this with you. They want this with you. But you know what, guys? If you're gonna keep giving it to this connection, if they come back around, when they come back around, they're not gonna learn their lesson. That's wake up call, right? You continue this wake up call. The universe is doing the work for you. You gotta do the work, okay? Do you can't just give in when they come back again. Just don't give in to the connection. This time, stand your ground, all right? Just think more logically and not emotionally. So yeah, that's a huge realization, you know. That illusion is broken. They probably thought yeah, they could go on like this, but guess what? The universe, gave, the universe gave them like a smack on their head. What's the ten of cups in reverse? Ten of cups in reverse. You know, I'm always getting like the one who got away. I feel you're the one who got away, the one who they loved, the one who they wanted, the one who they saw that happy, happily ever after, happily ever after with you. I'm saying, strength here. Yeah, see, they see you as someone who's holding back so fucking strong. You know, not putting in your thousand percent and trying to do what you can to keep your emotions in control, to keep that passion in control, and trying to tame yourself, tame your that love. You know, the passion that you have for this person. You know, you're just trying your best. And you're like, you know what? No, I'm going to do this. I'm not going to give in to this connection unless and until I get what I want, which I'm deservant of and which uh, you feel is very ethical and it's very, it's something that, you know, you want rather than a right or wrong. It's just something what you want and they don't, okay? There's no right and wrong about it. Just because someone's non-committal doesn't make them a bad person. Just because you're committal doesn't make you a good person. It's just a different approach out here, okay? But what I'm seeing here is that probably this person was with you on the same page 90%. Okay, they were with you 90%. But that 10%, okay, which you were ready to go walk the mile, that's something where they cop out, okay? And now they're playing only around that 10%, okay? Because the love is there. It's, it's already there. It's built. Okay, so they don't need to work on that emotional fulfillment. They need to work on the stability. And that's something that they keep going back and forth with, you know, and constantly, you know, scheming. How do we get back to you? How to keep the connection going? How not to end the cycle? They don't want to end the chapter, etc. Okay, they're out of fear, you know. They probably feel if they end the chapter with you, they don't know if they're going to be able to start it again with you or whatever, you know. Queen of Pentacles in reverse is how they feel deep down. Queen of Pentacles in reverse, please. Yeah, so they see you and they want a new beginning with you. Okay, they do want a brand new beginning with you. But I think uh, they see you as someone who's not invested into them. A mother figure could be someone who's coming between you guys. But I think they feel that uh, you're shining. You could be uh, in the limelight here. But they just feel you're happy without them is also what I feel here. But I feel that they see you as their happy ever after. They have a very optimistic attitude, okay? And they know that they want this with you and they know probably they even want kids with you with the son here. But, you know, the point is like, where's the marriage? Where's the commitment here, you know? So, but uh, this person sees you as their end all, be all, period, okay? But they just see you as someone like, if you're not focused, how are they going to, you know, get the ball rolling? See? Devil out here. They're obsessed with you. They're obsessing over this connection. Very obsessed with you. They can't stop obsessing over you they're too addicted to you okay you know they're too addicted to that connection that love that they got from you that attachment that nurturing that caring everything that you gave them right they can't get over it they can't get over it you know but they need to grow up because what's the seven of cups in reverse 
Wow. This person's transforming is what I'm getting here. This person is transforming, I feel, with the death here. This person was very resistant of a lot of changes, okay, that they needed to make. I think they are coming out of that procrastination. They're putting an end to that procrastination. They're letting go of any burdens, okay? See, they're so in, they're in love with you, okay? This person's trying to lay off any kind of burdens that they had, any responsibilities, okay? They're letting it go. They're dropping the load, okay? Releasing the load out here. And I think they're finally doing what they need to do. See, this person out here, seven of cups in reverse, they're getting into reality, making that choice. Earlier, either they had their options open or they had too much going on in their life or they had, uh, you know, uh, a lot, go uh, their plate was full. Oh, this person was just, you know, like unsure about what they wanted to do. But I think there is an ending here to that procrastination. I think they're very overwhelmed. Okay, but I feel there's a transformation that's happening with this person's life. They're going through um, something where um, they know that they got to do what they got to do in order to come towards you and wanting a new beginning here. Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. Of you know, the other thing I'm seeing here is that there are chances this person realizes what they want, but you you and the connection. Okay. I think it's more of a transformation. Here. You know, like a complete, um, you know, like a complete, um, you know, how you edit, right? That's what's happening here. Well, yeah. See, again, uh, this person wants to revive the connection. They're missing you. They want to revive the connection. They're missing you. But you think it's a waste of time. You're just very disappointed. You just feel this is something where, uh, I mean, this person takes too long to come towards you is what I'm getting here. And you just feel it's a waste of, waste of time. You're not investing in this anymore. They want to revive the connection. They're feeling left out by you. Okay. Isolated, abandoned. You're probably not uh, messaging them. You've blocked them. You know, there's just no contact between you guys is what I'm getting. But I mean, they want to get this back from the brink of failure. <sighs> Two of cups in reverse. Why is it why? Wanted one card. Yeah, I think uh, it's asking you to uh, move on or probably just distance yourself physically or mentally for the time being because with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse here, things are still not going to move in your favor, okay? This is not the time for change. Some, nothing's going to change. At least for right now, probably when they come back around here, okay? So there's still some time before you get things your way, before luck is on your side. It's asking you to move on. It's asking you to make the changes. If they don't, you make the changes, okay? And work on yourself. What's the nine of wands here? What's the nine of wands here? Four of swords, yeah. So someone's guards are up. No one's talking. This person's not talking with a hangman here. This person's putting things on... They're putting things on hold. Everything's stuck and stagnant out here. This person still won't talk. I feel because they're going through a transformation. Okay. They're like a purging. You know, a lot of purging is going on from their side out here. And I think you need to do the same so that when this person comes back, they've healed, you've healed. And if you want, you can start something fresh because they, that's what they want. They want to start a new cycle, a new beginning, success. You know, with a lot of clarity is what I'm getting here. Because this you is not giving a shit to them. This you is holding back, you know. But that realization that they've had with the tower card, like, whoa. I mean, um, it's it's going to be a rocky road for them. You know, it's going to be bumpy for them. This person was trying to avoid that change all this while, I feel. This person was trying to live in their illusions, live in that particular dream zone, okay? Not dream zone. They created their own reality is what I'm saying. Okay, but they thought everything was okay the way it was going. But I think now they've realized when probably you've disconnected, you know, big time, they realize like, you know what, it's not going to work out like that. I'm going to have to take some drastic step in order for things to change. That's what they're realizing. But I think they're still showing up as guarded. Or you're showing up as guarded because that's like a collective outcome. So I feel you're both probably guarded and there's still no communication for the next 10 days. Okay. But your advice is uh, don't push it. Okay. Don't don't push it, all right? Uh, if it's not in your favor, you don't have to sit there, you know, um, waiting for them or whatever. You keep moving forward. There is an unwelcome change out here, something that you don't like. But you never know. This is going to be a blessing in disguise. Maybe waiting for this person, giving this person the time will probably end a cycle, a toxic negative cycle. And there are chances you will start a positive cycle because I do see the sun out here. Okay. So uh, you're, uh, this person is almost at the end of the cycle here, okay? 
they are at the end of it could be you i feel this could be you also you know who's got that strong will power cuz you're coming up as someone who does not give up on relationships so easily but um rest meditate okay give it some time out here they'll keep coming back so don't worry about that the point is you don't need to entertain them okay you need to be in your in your own zone and you need to take care of yourself okay they're transforming they're making the changes let them it's going to take some time don't be in a hurry and don't be frustrated with the delays okay because you do probably don't see what's best for you right now but eventually you'll be like you know what thank god that didn't work out or thank god i waited okay so that's what i have for you hope this video resonates all right